Dozens of major cities have pledged to make transportation fossil-free by 2030. These efforts are critical to fighting both climate change and the urban pollution that contributes to 7 million premature deaths each year. Transit buses are one of the best places to start, in part because fossil fuel buses are inefficient and run almost continuously. Buses also last a long time, typically more than a decade. That's why air pollution targets for 2030 require action starting now. Yet for cities around the world, the high upfront cost of electric buses remains a key barrier, especially in developing countries. Pay as you save, also called PAYS, is a proven approach to accelerating utility investment for energy efficiency in buildings that can also address barriers that now face clean buses. PAYS for Clean Transport was proposed to the lab by the advisory firms Clean Energy Works and Sustainable Capital Advisors. So how does it work? First, a bus service provider or operator orders electric buses from a manufacturer and invests only the amount that it would for an equivalent diesel bus. Meanwhile, the utility finances the bus batteries and charging infrastructure. The utility then charges the operator a fixed monthly payment, called a pays tariff, set at a level that recovers the cost for the battery and charger, while ensuring that the electric bus still costs the operator less to operate than its diesel equivalent. The utility's capital provider is repaid in turn. The utility improves the transaction with both better financing terms than the bus operator would have faced and with the security that it can disconnect a customer in the case of non-payment. Ultimately, the structure helps the utility gain new revenue from electricity sales to fuel the bus, and it helps the bus service provider save money from the start. Best of all, the city is healthier for everyone. Using Santiago, Chile as an example, more than 100,000 US dollars could be saved on every electric bus financed with a pay structure compared with diesel. Financing 100 buses this way would generate 25 million in electricity sales for the utility over the 12-year expected life cycle of the buses. And electrifying Santiago's 6,600 transit buses would save 4 million tons of CO2 emissions and completely eliminate tailpipe emissions of even more harmful pollutants, including fine particulates and nitrogen oxides. PAYS also improves upon other electric bus financing approaches. Lab Secretariat modeling shows that for every dollar in grants, PAYS can leverage $72 of investment capital, even with today's technology. PAYS can also be applied beyond transit buses to more vehicle classes like industrial vehicles, trucks, and commercial vehicle fleets. The lab and the PAYS proponents are seeking utilities, development banks, bus manufacturers, and operator partners to champion and implement PAYS in their cities. This is a unique opportunity to help create healthier, greener cities worldwide.